afternoon, good day, good evening. My name is Martin Luther King Jr. People call me Jack. If today is your first time of meeting me on this channel, congratulations. If you are with me here already, don't forget to share with your friend. Don't forget to subscribe. Many times I have been receiving messages from people, my friends, people who watch my channel, my clients all over the world. And they, some of them keep asking me, why don't you tell us more about snails? I want you to do a video on this. I want you to do a video on that. So because of this, I have taken it upon myself to start a series. I'm going to start a series which I will be talking from scratch to the end. I'm going to devote my time purposely to train people on snail farming. I used to be encouraged um, by a friend. He says, your videos are nice. You are very deep. You have a lot of insight. Can you tell us more? I said, okay, you will hear from me. Then I also used to be discouraged by a friend. Not a friend. He comes to watch my channel. And every time he comes to my channel, what he says is, why don't you ever show us your farm? I have men uh, mentioned his name. I have uh, responded to that question several times that where I find myself, I am a bit far from my farm. So it is difficult for me to display my farm. But he should wait for me. A time will come. I will be doing most of the series in the farm. But he keeps asking me that question. So sometimes when he asks me that question, I get discouraged. That is why I haven't been doing videos. But a friend called me three days ago and he said, don't stop what you are doing because even the, the information alone you are giving is enough for anybody who wants to do something with it. Because of this, I am starting a fresh series. I'm going to start from scratch to talk about people, to explain about things to people about snail farming. So if this is your first time of meeting me on this channel, congratulations. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you a lot of things that you have never heard before about snail farming. Today, I'm only going to motivate you. I'm only going to talk about some nitty gritties of snail farming. And then from tomorrow onwards, any video that you come across is going to be purposely about teachings on snail farming. Why your snails are not growing? Why your snails are not producing? Why your snails are dying? How you can make your snail grow faster? How you can market your snails? Many other things I'll be talking about. How you can start your pen? Because many people have been asking me, how can I build my pen? Which type of pen is suitable for me? Should I go for the free range, the greenhouse? Should I go for the trench? Should I go for the mini paddock? The, 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 the box, uh, the concrete pen, which one do you think is best for me? I don't have a specific answer for that because it depends on you, the farmer, how you decide to handle your business. That is how your snails are going to survive and grow and produce for you. It depends on the season. It depends on the area, the locality, the geographic locality, environment you find yourself. You can do something for yourself. Congratulations. Join me as today I talk to you about secrets in snail farming. Secrets in snail farming. Good. There are many secrets you don't know. And I don't know. There are many, many secrets. We are going to talk about them one after the other. The first secret I'm going to talk to you about is this. Snail farming is easy but difficult. Easy but difficult why would i say something is easy and at the same time difficult 
this is the secret when you hear snail farming you are like whoa for this i can do it yeah for this i can do it then you get a small box somewhere you go to buy some pieces of snails from either a farmer a colleague snail farmer or even by the roadside or people who go to pick it from the forest then you keep the snails there you start giving them food then after some times you see that your snails have started laying eggs you are like wow it's easy whoa it's easy then uh because you've been watching videos on youtube you you bury your eggs after 21 to 47 days the eggs begin to hatch you are like whoa it's easy then after six months to one year your snails begin to die then you are like huh what did i do what did i do wrong what didn't i do well why are my snails dying then frustration begins to set in difficulties begin to set in and then you are like those of us who are a bit religious then we are like no this is from my village family people my family village people uh these are the works of witches and wizards because i started correctly but things have started getting tougher there are secrets you need to know it's not about any spiritual stuff and it's not about any family family witch or village witch it's about you getting it right getting anything you are doing it should be in the right direction the fact that you got some box and then kept some snails and you are lucky they started laying eggs and the eggs have hatched and you are giving them food doesn't mean everything is okay there are some nitty gritties that you need to know starting is easy sometimes you go on youtube and then somebody will say starting snail farming is very easy you don't need enough capital that's a lie it is a lie yeah so let's look at this do you want to be a pet snail farmer that is by keeping like 20 snails in your backyard and then giving them food and water and then that's all or you want to go into a commercial business farming which one are you interested in rearing three snails rearing two snails isn't a big deal so i ask you how many are the five or the 20 or the 10 snails going to produce for you in order to liberate yourself from all your financial problems we will come to that so don't worry just stay tuned this one brings me to the next topic normal versus commercial why will you waste your time to go and buy a box or to ask a carpenter to build a box for you then you put in 10 snails then you say i am into snail farming are you not sure you're wasting your time are you ready for a commercial business do you want to make money think about it so snail farming can be normal people who want to rear snails in the normal way that's okay but there are people who want to make money somebody messaged me the other day on my channel and he said because i said snails can make somebody a millionaire so he's asking me am i also a millionaire these are the kinds of people who will prevent you from achieving your dreams and your goals yeah let me show you something you want to go into snail farming you want to make money but you are scared to invest snail farming 
It's the same as any other business that we do. So you want to make money? You can raise like $5,000, okay, $4,000 to open a boutique, right? Good. You can raise $4,000 to start a boutique. Because as for boutique, <laughs> it, is, it is a big business that you are going to import things from China, from US, from UK to come and sell. So you can invest $5,000 or $4,000 into a boutique. But you want to make money from snow farming and then instead of investing the same amounts that you invested into your boutique, you decide to invest $100. Uh -huh. Then you come back and tell somebody that I invested into snow farming, but it isn't profitable. It's a lie because you value one business than another business. Now let's do this calculation. Imagine I take two thousand dollars, then I decide to invest two thousand dollars into a boutique. Okay. Then you start selling shoes, footwear, clothes, uh, what else? Panties, braziers, etc. You start selling this in your boutique. Now, if I am a young guy and I live in your area, you know what's gonna happen? When I'm able to come and buy one shoe from your shop, from your boutique, like this, a shoe, trust me, I will never come and buy again until the next one year to two years. Ask me why. Because I have one shoe, I can wear it every day continuously for two years if the quality is high. So when somebody comes to buy one shoe from your boutique, it takes that person approximately six months to one year to come and buy another shoe from your shop oh yeah somebody will be selling towels so imagine i come to buy a towel from your shop and i have to use this towel to bath until this towel gets broken before i buy a new one that means i can use this towel for four years some of us can use a towel for 10 years. So when are you going to sell if you want to pick 30 towels? When are you going to finish selling all the 30 towels before you make profits and then go back and take another 30 towels? You are going to spend like six months to one year to two years before you can sell every single bit of thing in your shop. Imagine you rented a shop. Imagine you pay for electricity. Imagine you pay for transport. Imagine you need an extra hand in the shop to help you. Imagine you pay taxes from the revenue authority in your either your district or your city from the government. It is not easy. If you are to go and take the things from maybe outside the country and then bring it into the country, you are going to spend so much money. Now, let's come to snow farming. I decide to take my snails by investing $2,000 into snow farming. All right? So, this is the analysis. For the $2,000, I have a land in my backyard then uh, I build my pen then I get some extra stuff and then I go to buy my snails then I buy my seed this is one secret that I want to tell you as you start like this 
You cannot sell your snails within six months. You cannot sell your snails within one year. You will have to wait till one and a half to two years before you sell your snails. You get my point. You are going to wait approximately for two years before you sell your snails. So somebody will be like, I have set a snail for me for all this while. I haven't made any profit. I haven't made any profit. Okay, let's do this. When you started a snail farming, you didn't have enough capital on you. All right? $2,000 is okay. You got your land. You got a pen. You got your snails. Then you got your feet. And then any other thing you need to get, you got all of them. Then the remaining amount of the money that you have, you were able to buy only 1,000 pieces of snails. Only 1,000 pieces of snails that you're able to buy. These 1,000 pieces, along the line, some of the snails are going to die. Yes. Some of them will die automatically without any cause. You know why? Because every living creature on this earth dies at a point in time. So it isn't your fault. You follow all the practices. Well, you did everything correctly. But because of the law of nature, every living thing dies at a point in time. So let's say as you brought 1,000 pieces of snails, 10% died. So if 10% died out of them, you still have like 900 pieces of snails. So you have your 900 snails there. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. These 900 will have to lay, survive till two years that you need in order to start making profit. Let's see what's going to happen here. 900 snails. Not all of them are going to lay for you in the six, I'm oh, sorry, in six months to two years. Now, let's see this. Uh, let's say about 70% of the 900 snails are going to lay. So let me just make it like this. 700 of the snails laid and then 200 didn't lay. Okay? So let's drop the 200 somewhere. Already 100 have died out. But 200 didn't lay, just 700 laid for you. When the 700 snails were going to lay for you, this is what happened. Only 100 eggs were able to come out from each of the 700 snails. So if you are to get 100 eggs from the 700 snails, let's do this math. 100 times 700. That means you are going to get 70,000 pieces of snails. Let's take it that. Your snails laid for you for only once in the two years. The snails laid for you only once in the two years. Meanwhile, you and I know that the Akatina Akatina lays about three clutches per season. So let's say in one year, if you're able to follow all the management uh, uh, practices correctly within one year your snail is able to lay two times for you or three times for you and if you are lucky and each clutch is just 100 you are going to go now these snails some of them can lay up to 250 per clutch we are not going to exaggerate anything so we are not going to multiply this by two we said only once in the two years that you got your snails and then out of this 10% couldn't hatch. So we are going to take 10% out of the 70,000 eggs that your snails laid for you. So 70,000 minus 10 uh, percent. What is my percentage? Okay. All right. So we have like 6999. So let's say we have 6999 snails that is left for you. Okay, within the two years of growth, this is what's going to happen. Some of them will die along the line. Some of them might even run away. And 
other thing can happen. But let's say all other things being equal, that's economic step. Those of us who are economic students, you remember that. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take extra 20% out of the 6999 snails till maturity. So let's say 6999.9 minus 20%. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me do this. 6999 minus 20%. So we have 6998. 6998, let's make it flat. 60,000 pieces. All right? 60,000 pieces is what left. 60. Thousand pieces of snails is what is left till your two years of growth. Let's go and do this calculation quick and then let me come back and compare your boutique business with your 60,000 snails that you were able to raise in two years. So, in two years, you were very lazy, you couldn't do enough, you were too busy, your money wasn't enough, you were able to raise only 60,000 pieces of snails in the whole two years. 6123. Now we want to make business. We want to start marketing. Me, when I raise 60,000 pieces of snails and I don't get people to come and buy it in bulk, I will become a retailer myself. I will stop every other business I'm doing and then I will sell it myself one per piece. So if, if I am to sell one per piece out of the 60,000, and then I decide that because in Ghana, uh, people don't really like snails. I know that a price of snail is from 5 cities to 10 Ghana cities per each snail. But I'm not going to do that because uh, I want my snails to finish fast so that I can get the money in bulk. So I'm not going to sell one for 5 cities to 10 cities. Instead, I'm going to sell only one for 3 cities. So 60,000 times 3. Can we do the maths together? This is it. 6123 times 3 Ghana cities. I have 180,000 Ghana cities. The old currency, when we want to run it into our old currency, we will say 1.8 billion. 180,000 Ghana cities. That is the money I made. I want to convert this money into dollars, so I'll just divide it by uh, 7.2. I don't know the current uh, stuff right now. That is $25,000 out of the $2,000 I invested <laughs> in two years. Now, in two years, every year is 12 months, all right? So, I'm going to divide this $25,000 for 12 months. So $25,000 divided by 12. That means in every month, I will be making 2,083, which is the capital I invested. <laughs> the $2,000 that I invested in my snow farm, after two years, when I calculate, every month I have been making $2,000. I have taken a lot of factors out of it. I took 10%. I made it the snails laid only 100 uh, eggs per the whole of the two years each. And I made sure that out of the 1,000 snails that I bought, 10% uh, died. And then out of the, the remaining percent, which is the 900 snails, only 700 were able to lay and then the 200 didn't lay for the two years and as they laid uh, only 80% uh, of the eggs were able to hatch and then as they hatch only 80% survived along the line then I even took a lot of portions out because we had 699 I decided to take the 99 out and then I kept only the 60,000 and I decided to sell it at a cheaper price at three Ghana cities. 
Instead of selling one for five CD to 10 CDs, I sell one for three Ghana CDs. Now, I don't want to make it to be like uh, this guy is uh, deceiving or confusing people. So this is what I'm gonna do. After I sold everything and I made 25,000 uh, Ghana CDs, oh sorry, dollars, which is uh, 180,000 uh, Ghana CDs, I'm going to divide this amount into three and then do this. So $25,000, I'm going to divide it into three parts. You know why I'm going to do that? The reason why I'm going to do this is because I need to talk about my cost, transport, uh, and then all the capital and many other things that I use in starting the business. You get my point. So $25,000 divided by three. Is that okay? So 25, one, two, three divided by three. So this is what I got. I got 8,333. That means I will get 8,333, 8,333 dollars for three times. Then, all right. 833, 833, and then I will use the rest 833 as my profit. How dare you? Starting a business with $2,000. $2,000. Most of us have invested with some companies and our money never came back. Most of us have given our money to some crypto companies, they chopped our money, we never got it back. Most of us have used our money to go and start, uh, how do you call it, um, um, a business, a shop, and it collapsed. These are some of the secrets that people don't know. So, the secret number 10, which confirms what I just did, is what we call patience. You want to go into snow farming? And you don't have patience. My friend, forget it. Uh, there is this guy who used to say, do you get it? If you don't, if you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> you want to go into snail farming and you don't have patience. What are you talking about? Because snails are patient creatures. They walk slowly. They don't rush. They don't do anything in rush. So they take time to grow. So if you are to go into snail farming and you want to make money, you want to make money, my friend, take it easy on yourself. Don't rush. Do not rush. Take it easy. With that, you are good to go. You have to wait for two years. Yes. You cannot start selling your snails in two months time. So somebody will call me and then give me a message. So how long do you think uh, I have to wait for my snails to grow? I said one year to two years. Because if a snail lays an egg, it takes 47 days to hatch. That is number one, hatchery. Now, after 47 days, if you don't feed your snails well or properly, uh, or you don't take care of them well, after four months to six months, your snails will just be like this. Oh yeah. Especially when the environment where you are handling them is not conducive. So before you can get your snails to a table size, you are already in one and a half year to two years. There are a lot of things people are not telling us. Sometimes we go for the training, all right, but we decide not to do a lot of research on our own. So the little thing we went to learn at the training session, which is just a one year, um, sorry, a one day or two days thing that we learned, we decide to take it that that is the final thing about snails. Some snails have experienced stunted growth in my farm. About six months to one year, their size is still like two grams. Oh, not two grams. 
200, uh, 20 grams to 70 grams. They are not growing. They are not growing. So you will have to make sure that all the practices that are needed in the farm, you do it. You do the right practices. You don't joke with your snails. You make sure you feed them according to time. If you are using the mini paddock or the hatch, or the, 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 the pen concrete, the concrete pen, you have to make sure that you keep a sizable amount of snails in a pen. And you have to make sure that you give them the right nutrients that they need. You have to make sure that you maintain the pen, you clean the pen, you make sure that there are no fungus, there are no pathogens, disease carrying organisms that enters your snail pen. You have to make sure that there is enough oxygen, aeration. You have to make sure that you check the humidity of the pen. You have to check the temperature to show that or to make sure that the snails are in a conducive environment to survive for you. These are the secrets that many people will not tell you. They will just tell you snail farming is easy to start, snail farming is profitable, snail farming is that. And then you also carry your money and then you go into snail farming. Now, somebody will ask me, that money you ask, $2,000, is too much for me. How can I construct a pen? The main thing I used to tell people is techniques. Use your gumption. We have the legalities and the technicalities of the rules and the engagement of the ordinance. <laughs> uh, that man used to say that. You know that man. Good. You need to use your wisdom. Be technically innovative. Okay, I don't have money, but I want to make a big snail farm. The best or the first thing I need to notice is the land. If you have the land, in Africa, it's easy to get land. Unless those of you, if you stay in a city like Lagos, you stay in the central city of Lagos, you are going to struggle to get a land. You stay in the central city of Accra, you are going to struggle to get a land. You stay in a city like Yaoundé, you are going to struggle to get a land. Let's forget about that. Some people are in the diaspora. A man called me from Canada and he wants to raise snails in Canada. So imagine you live in Canada and then you want to make snails, snail farming. And uh, you are uh, not a citizen. You are just staying there to work. You need a land and it's going to cost you enough, a lot of money. But let's look at this. You are in Africa, you are in a small town, there are plenty of lands available. Land is as cheap as $1,000 in Africa, depending on the area that you find yourself. Because this money is a big money in Nigeria. A friend called me from Nigeria and then he wanted uh, to get a snail book and I said, 200 Ghana cities. Hey. This guy converted this money into the Nigerian currency and he's like, Whoa! You want to take that money from me? This money is nothing in Ghana. It's nothing. Well, if you are working, it's nothing. If you are not working, it's something for you. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. But 200 Ghana cities, what are you going to do with it? Some people are buying a ball of cake for 20 Ghana cities. If you have 200 Ghana cities, five balls will buy 100 Ghana cities. And then the 100 Ghana cities left, you buy some fish and then the money is finished you are going to drink water <laughs> i'm not talking too much today i just want to uh, make people understand some things okay i live in a small town in ghana let's say uh even suedro is a big town but let's use suedro or my town takwa as for takwa land is very expensive so i'm not going to use takwa 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 bogos because of the mining companies there it's very expensive to get a land a small town, any small town, that's all. Then I want to go buy the car tie because I don't have enough money to build structures. The concrete pen, the greenhouse, I don't have enough money to build that. So I just want to go buy the car tie. So going by the car tie, I have to use my wisdom. I'm going into a commercial business farm. I want to make millions. I don't want to make two cities and three cities. I want to make big money. The land is there. Why do I have to go and take two pieces of car tie 
and then say I'm going to make a snail farm. Huh? Because everybody knows that a used car tire is not for sale, it's for free. So if a used car tire is not for sale and it is for free, and I have a land like let's say 10 meters square, 20 meters square, 30 meters square, 40 meters square, and I don't have money to build a concrete pen, but I can afford to get some old used car tires. Why do I have to go and choose only two pieces of the car tires? It doesn't make sense. Get like 20 to 30 pieces. If you can get more than that, up to 50 pieces, get it. <laughs> Use your wisdom. Use your brain. You can get some local materials, like some trees from the forest, some used iron sheets, some old wood and boards, and then build a fence around your land. Uh huh. After building the fence around your land, your land is already secured. Since you, you stay in that area, the place is okay for you. Keep all your car tires on the land, build some shades on top of it, and then get a mosquito net, which is not expensive, to protect the place. You are starting a commercial business for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 car tires here. So if you have about 20 to 30 to 50 car tires, who told you you are not into a commercial business? I will do an analysis on the car tires. I will make some calculations for you. Let's say you started with the point of lay. In the point of lay, they are a bit bigger already. And you are using the rim 16 or rim, I don't know the rims, but maybe rim 16 to 45 or any of the size, it's a bit bigger. Then you are having like uh, 15 snails here, 15 here, 15 here, 15 here, 15 here, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 times 12, let's see. 15 times 12. You have 180 snails. So let's say you have 50 pieces. So 15 times 50. You have 750. What did I just talk about? Now, there are some people who can place each of their car tires on top of each other for two or three pieces. So, this place can have 30, 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 depending on the size of your car tire. 30, 30, you are into a commercial business farm. So, let's say 30 pieces here times 12, and let's see, 30 times 12. You have 360 snails. So, if 30 pieces in each of them times 50. The 50 will be times 2, which will be 100. So let's say 30 times 50. 1,500 snails. Don't tell me you can't do a commercial business with the car type. As time goes on, you will be devising mechanisms, technicalities, and then you will be building your farm. People will come around, oh, look at this guy, using a car tire. Oh, what? what is this trying to do? By two years time, you are going to be making millions from the car tires. And the car tires are not going to get rotten. It will be there. These are some of the secrets in snow farm. Before I round up for today, I don't want to talk too much. Before I round out for today, there is this little analysis I want to make for you. I advertise for a friend on my YouTube channel. 
he had raised about 100,000 pieces of snails. When I checked the video, after making the advert, actually I posted it on any other platform, but on my YouTube channel, I saw that the video has only 500 views. But the snails got finished within two weeks. Within two weeks, he sold all the snails. I don't know how it happened. And this is what he did. He sold one CDs, one snail per five CDs to 10 Ghana CDs. Don't do any calculation. My own farm, we sold four pieces of snails for 80 Ghana CDs. Four pieces each for 80 Ghana CDs. So let's say I had only 300 snails in my farm, divided by four. So 300 divided by four, 75. So 75 times 80 Ghana CDs, times 80 Ghana CDs. That means 6,000. Let's not joke with some things. Uh, some of us, we don't have money yet. But we can assure you, if you decide to go into snail farming, it's going to be of help. Congratulations for joining me on this channel on Empty No Business Complex. In my next episode, I'm going to start from scratch. Maybe in this video, there wouldn't be much visuals. But when I start, try me. I will show you a lot of stuff. I'll explain things deeper. I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach on snail farming. The nitty gritties, your do's and your don'ts. I will teach everything from scratch. So I will make it series one, series two, series three, up till the day I will finish. The ebook that I'm giving out to people, I'm going to teach from the ebook for you to understand that there is a business that can make you a millionaire, truly, if you do the right thing. Thank you. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Share your ideas. Ask any questions. I am here. My number is plus 233-5540-52555. Plus 233-5540-52555. Thank you. Till I come your way another time, I say peace. Shalom. Bye-bye.